My message today is to not listen to the League of Morons. So right now, you've got a lot of people that are proceeding from an ideological perspective on the current pandemic, and it's important to realize that these are essentially sociopaths. If your first question, whenever a potential pandemic kicks off, is how is this going to affect the economy, you're a sociopath. You're not a normal human being. If, on the other hand, you hear news that there's a virus spreading, it's killing people, and you think, well, what should I do? What steps should I take to protect myself, my family, my kids, things like that? And how serious is this? What kind of information can I get on it? If that's your response, well, that's a entirely reasonable position to have that's normal that's healthy that's what you should be thinking not well what do i do about the economy my applebee's oh god and the other important thing here is that there these types that are saying this stuff just the flu uh th this is nothing the flu kills more people per year blah 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 they're essentially just repeating the establishment party line here the the establishment of the united states when this virus started. Their entire interest was predicated on keeping the economy functioning because, lo and behold, you've got a president who has basically pinned his entire re-election hopes on having a strong economy. It's literally just that simple. This guy wants to be re-elected, and he wants a strong economy to get that done. So, of course, they're going to start disseminating really stupid propaganda to keep the economy propped up as well as it possibly can be. And... I could go down rabbit holes deconstructing specific arguments people are making, like comparing COVID deaths to flu deaths whenever the flu deaths themselves are also an estimation, and then saying that the COVID deaths are being exaggerated because they are an estimation, stupid stuff like that. Or for example, note that um, saying that we don't actually shut down the economy for the flu is not really an argument. Like, that's called appeal to tradition. It's actually a fallacious form of reasoning. Just because just we let people die from the flu doesn't mean you have to let them die from any number of other causes. And I can make similar arguments about certain types of crime patterns in which lots of people are killed by a particular demographic and ask the question of, well, the flu probably kills more people than that, so why should I care? So I think it's kind of crucial, though, to not go down those rabbit holes. Instead, just acknowledge the fact that when people start predicating your arguments on stuff related to the economy, it indicates that you're dealing with a person who's fucked up in the head. These are not normal people. Normal people don't make those kind of arguments. Normal people are actually somewhat concerned. They at the very least want to check and confirm how bad things really are, what the threat is, and take some kind of precaution. Abnormal people will then turn around and mock those people taking reasonable precautions. Anyway, that's just my, my thoughts on this. Don't waste your time debating the League of Morons. Uh, the, these people are stupid and malicious. Just do what makes sense to you in this particular situation during this crisis.